What's up, Risenators? We have another little production video. Today I uh, woke up, I carried on my metal crusade from the track yesterday. I went to the grocery store, made a lot of food. Maybe I'll throw a picture in here, who knows? Who knows how tr crafty I am with this stuff nowadays? <laughs> I'm watching too much, like, it's called brain rot, I guess the category is. Like, where people are saying skibbity and riz in Ohio. <laughs> but like, at first it was kind of funny, you know? But now there's like so many ridiculous videos on it. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, just got done watching a couple. But then I took a fat nap. I've been back in the laboratory. You know, again, I'm messing with a different guitar tone and a different drum tone. The drums on this one are ridiculous. This was, I was messing with some songs with my buddy Jason. Ortiz. Sometime before I had the Barefoot, I think it was last year, but it was early in the year. And I we did this one song where I was messing with these those pitch envelopes I was showing you guys yesterday, and I got this snare. I just loved it. It's so obnoxious. And then I kind of messed with the same Cortex preset from yesterday, but I would like turn all the mids down and the treble and the bass all the way up. I actually had to turn the volume of it down because it was like so loud. Got some pretty cool grooves. Let me mute all like the effects I've put in. The skibbity effects. But like check out this kind of stuff. So that was kind of like all I was really messing around with was like this guitar. But again, yeah, I think this would be a cool little vocal video. Actually, the vibe on this one, after I started adding a bunch of effects and stuff, because I was just like, let me just start adding stuff and see what I find. I added some like really weird things to it. It kind of gives me like a, a soothe vibe to it. So who knows? I think this will be a, a dope vocal video. And who knows? If I keep doing this, I might, I'll have like a, a random large collection of like weird things. But like, let's give it a, a skibbity, a skibbity go. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta stop. <laughs> That giant eight away. Oh, I have the effects muted still. No ambience. I want this like a build. Vocals be like more like long and drawn out. Unique beat. Like when you have the guitar and the bass like doing the same thing constantly and your variation is between the, the drums and the, and the effects, that's kind of what Soothe was all about. Like the same kind of pattern going on the, the bass and the guitar and then the drum really w was switching up. So pretty stoked. Let me show the where the extendo. Has this break right here. Don't be stupid. It's funny because like these are like little vocal video-esque type like experimental songs to just throw out there but I'm gonna like put them through the big slime <laughs> you know what I mean like they're gonna sound sick so I'm pretty stoked that's kind of all I, I'm in like a weird I'm like very tired I, t I took like an hour long nap and um I mean you could tell I'm tired I'm in like that skibbity mood you know what I mean <laughs> like it's so stupid I don't know sometimes that's like kind of a cool space to do creative stuff in because like you're kind of goofy and you're kind of just going to make goofy things and like one of the things I'll say about it's just creativity in, in general but I feel like it really applies to my workflow where like here's the example I like to use like let's say I sat down to make music music right now instead of an hour ago. Let's say I didn't do the morning session, I just did an afternoon session. I'm always going to make something different every time I sit down. And if I don't sit down and make something, whatever I didn't make will never, ever, ever get made. And the same thing goes for like every time I do sit down and do something. It's like that's just like a specific moment I, I decided to sit down and do something. That idea is never going to come again. And all the times I didn't sit down and do something, those ideas are like never going to happen. So like me being kind of like a tired, oh crap, 
crap, it's five o'clock, you know, like what do I do? Because now it's like almost seven, so I can go eat again and just kind of chill. Tomorrow I'll probably, maybe I'm thinking about hitting the gym tomorrow. I gotta do legs. My chest feels pretty much recovered from the prior lift. So this like weird little thing would have never gotten made if I wasn't, you know, if I was just like, oh, let me chill and do whatever people do, watch reels and play video games. And you know what I mean? I mean, I guess I could have eaten and watched a movie or go on. You, you get what I'm saying. So I'm kind of happy I sat down and made this, this random idea. And that's kind of the main message I want to deliver on top of this production thing. You know, I, I didn't really do much more. I kind of messed with Trillion a little bit. Like, I want to tweak everything basically every single time. With each one of these, I want to come in not necessarily totally fresh, but if I use something from the previous session, I want to tweak it and just, like, see what happens. Because when I was writing all these records this year, Gorehammer, Disfiguring the Goddess, and the project with Aaron, we did one song and one tone, and then that was the tone we were going to use every single song. So this is kind of, like, my time. The rest of the spring, the rest of the summer is my time to continuously making switch ups. And honestly, it kind of gives me like a, how you would approach like dance music. Like you're always kind of switching things up every time. So even this song too, with like the consistent bass and guitar, that's kind of like your bass line that doesn't change. And then like your drums and your effects kind of change or your synths or whatever. So pretty cool. Anyways, Scooby-Doo Riz. <laughs>